everyone and welcome to CLO2 Solutions. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make 880 milliliters of CVS very quickly. Um, at least the process of getting it all in the bottle will be quick. First thing we have to do is take out um, 880 milliliters of this 1.1 liter uh, bottle. This is um, uh, uh, so, which is 80 percent. So we, we have to remove 80 percent. That's what we're going to be making. And so I'm going to I've got a big measuring cup here, and we're going to pour it out. 880 milliliters. 800 and right about there. That's 880. So 880, and uh, then the rest of the water that's in the bottle, I'm just gonna pour out and I'll be drinking that because I'm kind of thirsty anyway. So, by the way, it's best to use, you know, like this is bottled water. I just opened the bottle, so it's sure it's fine. Um, the best water to use would be um, distilled water. So then, um, so now I've, I've emptied the bottle. Okay, I'll set the water aside. This is our CDS water, 880 milliliters of it. And then I'm gonna use the big bags. This is a um, uh, eight by 18 inch bag or 20 centimeters by 45 centimeters. And I'm gonna make, we're gonna use two of the bags Put them over here in this bowl to help keep them cleaner. And um, the way you do it, uh, by the way, so this is like the, the best bag basically for bottle sizes down to about 500 milliliters um, because you just end up cutting the top off if it's a shorter bottle. So this just covers a wide range of bottles and you can find this on Amazon for about 100 bags is about 11 or $12, I believe. So anyway, so you take your bag like that, pull it inside out, starting at the bottom, you want to crumple it up. And the crumpling is to give like basically little channels for the chlorine dioxide gas to be able to go up through the bag. And there may even be water in the channels too. So it just gives a place as opposed to not folding it up and not turning it inside out where you've got this super thin uh bag right and it's uh it would be easy if it were to stick together it might um, stop the chlorine dioxide gas from flowing so and we don't want that we want the gas to flow up from the bag and uh, out to the top and then down into the water below making our cds okay so there we go that's the second bag and i gotta crumple it up and i'm, I'm crumpling as tight as i can so that we end up with uh, as many wrinkles in it as possible, basically. So there we go, we got two bags. And then we take one bag and put it inside the other. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then we take that. And we make it into kind of a long, as much as possible and we just put it into the bottle until it touches the bottom okay and then from the lip up we went 2.5 centimeters or one inch okay just to give you an idea what that looks like right there so i went 2.5 centimeters so you can see the three and the two so right in between there maybe i can see the Get the light better that way. Huh? There's one inch right there. Okay. Which, by the way, just happens to be a little bit more than my thumb. <laughs> so I just use my thumb, put my thumb on the end there, and then I cut over the top just slightly above it is all. Okay. So then I cut that, and that gives me about 
2.5 centimeters or one inch above the bottom. And then we take that out. Okay. And then we put our water back into the bottle. Like this. Being careful not to spill it. Then once we got the um, 880 milliliters in, um, the way we figure out how much MMS to use is it's five milliliters per 100 milliliters of CDS we're making. And here we have 880, so we have actually have 8.8 hundreds. So we take 8.8 8 .8 times five milliliters, and that'll tell us how much MMS to use. And then for the hydrochloric acid, it's double that, actually. So it's 10 milliliters per hundred. And so that's how we figure that out. So then what we do is we put the bag in, back in, just down to the water. And then we clip it. I'm going to take a clip. Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit below the water. Just into it a tiny bit. And that holds the bag in place, okay? And so then... So it won't go further down. And then we're going to open up the bag and fold it down. And then we need to make an opening in the bottle like this. And then we need to blow, blow into it to inflate the bag inside the bottle. So now you can see we've got the bag inflated in the bottle. Okay, so anyway, that, that inflated that. So now we have room to put in our ingredients. So again, five times 8.8, .8 because I have 800, 880 milliliters, which is 8.8 hundreds. So equals, there we go, 44. So we're going to put in 44 milliliters of MMS. And this is calibrated uh, 20, 30, 40. So I'm just going to go between the 40 and the 50 uh, and try to get a little bit on the low side to make it end up being 44. And that's about right, right there. It's above the 40, in between the 40 and the 50. Let me make sure you can see that. There it is. Okay. So now we want to make sure we got a really good opening there in the bag to put in the uh, wet ingredients. Blowing in is one thing, but actually um, adding the ingredients is another. So it's got to be really well done there. And then I don't need this bowl anymore. So for in the this is the MMS, this is 22.4%. It has to be 22.4, cannot be 25%. Otherwise you don't end up with 3000 parts per million, you end up with something else. And it's important to know what you end up with in the end. Okay, so we, we double 44, we got 88, right? So now we need 88 milliliters of, of the um, hydrochloric acid. So it's just a little bit below the 90, and that's about right there. Okay. Now, um, don't really need the clip now because the bag itself is holding it up, so that's why I took the clip off. Um, then we pour in the hydrochloric acid, and then I'm gonna very quickly pull the black bag up. Uh, kind of make it into a stick again, push it all the way down to the bottom. So here we go. And you'll see it'll start turning brown, yellow, and then brown right away. There we go. Okay. And we want to pull it up like that. You see the color there. Okay, we want the bag to be as level as possible on top, the two bags. So they, there's not one down below further than the other. 
and then we push it all the way down like this. Okay, you can see it wants to pop up because the bag is taller than the bottle. And we want to push it below the lip just a little bit. Just tap on, put on good and tight. I'm going to blow any air away because I want to sniff it to see if I can smell any chlorine dioxide. And gently, not a big deep breath, just, just tiny. You may smell a little bit, uh, but you don't want to smell a strong smell. Also, since this is a plastic bottle, we can squeeze it. If, we, if you hear any sound, like a hissing sound, like there's a leak, then you know there's plastic over the lip and you have to take the cap off push it down better, put the cap back on quickly. I don't hear anything. So we're good to go. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this will take uh, 24 to 48 hours to fully activate. Um, may maybe even a little bit longer, possibly. I think it depends on temperature or things like that. So, um, and then we'll have 880 milliliters of, um, of CDS. Uh, you can see it, by the way, it's starting to bubble. See the bubbles? Coming up through it there. We also want to mix it. So you watch the water level here and you go back and forth to mix it. Okay, sit on the table and that just kind of causes the ingredients to pour back and forth inside the bag. You turn it, you can rotate it like this also. Is we just want to make sure that the ingredients are, are well mixed in the bag. Okay, and then once it's done, it'll look like this. So uh, the color in the bag and the, and the CDS should be the same. And then we know it's done. Then you refrigerate it and then you pull the bag out, which is very easy to do. Just pull the bag out and let the ingredients pour into like a bowl like this. You tip it out, pull, pull the bag out, plus the ingredients fall into the bowl. I like to put water in the bowl so it will absorb the chlorine dioxide. So that is it. Um, very easy to do, no float to deal with, no clip. And um, since there are two bags, it's uh, very pure. The The main bag is in the center. Uh, it would have to um, bleed through that bag and then bleed through the next bag with a little bit of an air gap in between the two in order to get into the CDS. That's going to keep it very, very pure. You're going to end up with a really high quality CDS, uh, very easy to make. And uh, yeah, you'll, you'll have as much as you want as long as you got the main ingredients to make it. So I guess that's about it, everybody. Thank you very much. If you found this information useful, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, it's important to get this information out to as many people as possible. And um, so the more that you can share it, um, the more people we can reach. Thank you very much. May you all be well. Bye-bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.